Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It's your boy Zani the Greatest. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I got a review of the new Street Fighter 6. Let's get on into it. So, first, I'm going to start into the World Tour section. Overall, the World Tour section brings a fresh perspective to the new Street Fighter franchise. Although it wasn't all too well executed, in my opinion, it made for a great addition to an already stellar game that adds a bit more depth. Let me show you what I mean. So, these are some of my dislikes. My dislikes include the random gang members running at you. I didn't really appreciate that much i didn't really enjoy that aspect of the world tour like it was cool at times but it wasn't like again it just wasn't well done or executed in my opinion so that's just how i feel on that when it comes to the uh like them running at you the gang the random gang members just pull up on you just pull up on you it, it just kind of like ugh, sometimes i gotta run away from them it's just tedious all right then we have the lack of mobility, even including the fast travel. The fast travel was fine and it worked and it was handy at a lot of times, but I still felt like in some parts you still had to kind of trot your way or run your way down the street. Uh, again, it wasn't too big of a thing, but just some of my dislikes that I didn't like uh, when it comes to the Street Fighter 6. Lastly, on the dislikes, I really didn't wasn't fond too much of them having to make us use items during like almost every fight. Uh, I felt like it just uh, defeated the purpose. Of actually like gaining the skills of the masters and really fighting uh, and stuff like that so I really really didn't like that having to use too many but you know in any you know story driven mode you kind of got to do that but I don't know I didn't expect that from Street Fighter I expected our powers to or our skills to be enough you know I, I just felt I just felt like I could just jam my fist into your face and that should be it I shouldn't have to take a damage chew to cut off some of that damage you're, you're giving me you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know I just I didn't like that. I don't like that. And then they don't even stack. So, yeah, that was also a problem. Now, when it comes to the likes of this section, I love the character customization. This is probably the best. The, uh, the best. <laughs> the best character customization we've gotten so far. One of the best, I should say. It, it's up on the top tiers of character customization we've gotten in some fighting games in a long time, guys. Street Fighter 6 has definitely innovated itself with this character customization. They really dove into it to the different styles, to the different way you can make your character. I've seen all types of characters. I've seen like Chun Li's remakes. I've seen Frieza remakes. I've seen Goku and Vegeta remakes. They have a whole mod for that already. I know it's not like in the game, but you know, just the things you can do. You know, it's, it's just the character customization is really innovative in this one. Uh, another one I like to add with the World war tour section is the masters uh unlocking their character skills fighting different bosses and fighting random civilians the world map is pretty nice as well all those things encompasses the the masters because the masters you get to travel to different maps in order to get to the master and some of them you can only unlock or get to when they're at night or day for example in metro city you can unlock kimberly and jamie at night and um during the day it's i think it's ken and a few others like luke and stuff like that so when it comes to stuff like that i really like that diversity in like traveling and actually being like a world tour it's actual it's an actual world tour and it, it really i really like that aspect of the game the story is actually pretty decent you don't get taken out of it too much unless you're like having those like very dragging cutscenes when you talk to the masters or when completing the missions other than that it's not that bad like i said you could you could probably skip through most of it and you could be fine with the story the story is again decent decent it's decent it's just gonna say decent it's not, it's not like stellar for street fighter pretty good decent overall story pretty good you know storyline or whatever not gonna spoil too much but uh that's being said so now we're moving on to the second portion of our street fighter review and this is the battle hub section overall the battle hub is a very 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 new thing to street fighter and it works so well the way you can walk in and hop onto an actual arcade game and duke it out with your friends or anyone who walks for the challenge like anyone who just walks up for the challenge you can just hey hey i'm, I'm gonna sit down with you and I, i'm gonna challenge you is a pretty pretty neat bro it's pretty neat it may just be a basic hub for fighting but it definitely adds some flavors to the way things are done like how things are done in the battle hub is really 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 what makes this the prize possession of street fighter i don't really have a lot of dislikes about it uh i really won't be too long in the dislikes when it comes to this one the main takeaway is that the matchmaking connection issues is a big deal there uh, is a thing where like sometimes you can get a like a lag spike and if your ping is not good it can be hard to really fight in some of these lobbies and it can get quite frustrating when it comes to the matchmaking it's a little wonky but i, I assume they're gonna fix it this is preseason so uh, other than that there's no further issues i have with the battle hub it's pretty it's a pretty simple 
mode. It's not really much to offer or ask for or ask for. You kind of get in there, you fight. You know, you can chat. You can go to different sections. You can change your character. You can go to random. You can change the stages that you're on. Um, most of the stuff that I like, it, it makes a great way to mix up fighting and adds more uh, free will to the way you fight because you can either fight in a cabin or you can set up a casual or ranked match and just turn it on and let let people come challenge you um you can kind of choose your own servers to invite others so it kind of reminds you of that dragon balls dragon ball fighters type vibe um just any well any game that has that you know the, the joining in different codes and stuff like that i mean of course is, we've seen this before but again it's it's, it's innovative this time it's a little different you can even see which servers your friends are on to drop uh drop in on them and you know surprise them i've surprised some of my friends have some fights some some of them have surprised me and i didn't even know and i'm like well who's this guy and come to think of it it's somebody on twitter you know so the shopping rewards is also a good section it's a big addition to the game fighting in a ranked or casual matches gives you fighter coins and these can be used in nearby shops and battle for new clothes accessories and it can be used for different variations of clothing styles for your favorite street fighter character now, that's a pretty neat like that's pretty the battle pass situation look battle passes are the new day and age all right we're gonna have to just accept that so i am accepting that and i'm taking it with a full grain of salt like I really I like it. It's it's not that bad. It's not that bad, and they actually make use for it. You get a lot of like fighter coins at the end. Like they make you get it and re, you know replenish it. So overall, Battle Hub. Those are my likes and dislikes of it. And now we move it on to the fighting grounds. Overall, the fighting grounds is a pretty simple mode that helps you understand fighters, the street mechanics. There's like an arcade mode where you can kind of add a little bit more of a background to the character that you're fighting. When it comes to Street Fighter, and maybe you and your lady friend want to settle the sheep on the game tonight. I don't know. It, 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 whatever you want to do, it's there. All right. You can do versus mode. You can do ranked extreme matches. You can do tutorials, combo trials, all that stuff to learn the character, to learn the game a little bit more, or just in, embellish in the world by yourself. You know, maybe sometimes you just want to fight online or fight on arc arcade. Honestly, the arcade mode is too simplistic for any dislikes. Honestly, I, I, I don't have any dislikes about it. I don't really think there's anything they should add or take away as far as that. But when it comes to the likes, I really enjoyed the arcade mode and the training to versus mode. All, all of it. All of it, basically. It, it doesn't get straightforward than that. You know, I like that it's I like that it considers um everything that you have packed in with the other modes and just gives you a little bit of a hey this is just the raw version of street fighter they just just characters just street fighting it out duking it out maybe with, with your friends at home or you're just practicing you know in the lab you know what i'm saying maybe you want to learn specific character or character guides um master them master some combo trials and stuff like that those are very very handy in mastering characters and stuff like that especially if you're playing on specific control types like class or classic or modern and so, uh, yeah, it's just more of a casual way to play Street Fighter. And it has ranked modes and ranked matches in there as well. So you can kind of just, if you don't want to go into the Battle Hub, you can kind of just go in there. All right, you guys. So Street Fighter 6 takes a new spin on the lore of Street Fighter. We take a new look on a new era of Street Fighting games. And what seems to be filled with spontaneous, fun action with some of the most wicked finishers I've seen in a Street Fighter game. I'm loving Street Fighter 6. I hope you can too. If you needed any more motivation, here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We're getting in on some more new game reviews. I'm going to be reviewing that new Final Fantasy 16. I've been enjoying that game very much. Going to come out with that probably in a week or so. Give me some time. Peace and love.